The undisputed king of the mid-sized crossover market here in the US has returned with a substantial overhaul in every way, shape and form. Being a vehicle that outsells the BMW X5, Volvo XC90, Acura MDX and many others in this segment, the RX didn't need to drastically change. However, it did need to improve to meet the demands of buyers who are looking for more than just softer touch materials and affordability. With this market evolving to include sportier driving characteristics, futuristic designs and modern technology, Lexus continues to mostly play it safe. But 2023 does bring a number of changes to entice buyers to once again return to a top seller in this price range. So here are five reasons why you should buy a 2023 Lexus RX 350. Lexus for the longest time has remained consistent with their design philosophy, not deviating too far from Toyota, but doing just enough where these luxury vehicles stand out in the market. The 2023 RX is a vast departure from last generation, where a few styling cues carry over to this model year. A lot of this can be attributed to Lexus testing the waters and getting customers familiar with the road presence of their future electric vehicles and the RX is the first to wear these aesthetics. The grille with its brushed aluminum and color matching accents is rather different even compared to the NX which has a traditional Lexus front fascia. The reshaping of the LED headlights and full paint finish around the wheel arches is an evolutionary step forward for the RX and to a certain degree makes a bold statement at first glance. As you make your way around to the back, this is where the RX for 2023 should be recognizable to buyers who have purchased this crossover in the past. However, the light bar that runs the length of the rear fascia mimics the styling cues from the smaller NX. Surprisingly, it's the rear bumper where the plastic cladding makes its presence known, but even that's been mostly hidden by the use of brushed aluminum accents. As expected, the exhaust is tucked under the bumper to keep the design looking fresh and clean. And while Lexus is pushing the envelope for this generation, they've still remained conservative in key areas to not scare off potential returning buyers. Where Lexus has notoriously been behind competitors is with their technology. Although some enthusiasts and brand loyalists have always been fond of the instrument cluster that combine both digital and analog seamlessly. But the 2023 RX has addressed the weak points, starting with the all new 14 inch touchscreen, which is quickly being found in numerous Toyota and Lexus products, including the BZ4X and Subaru Solterra. While not surprising in the slightest, this user interface is rather easy to use, with quick access icons mounted on the left side of the screen, and its physical dials for the dual zone climate control up front conveniently placed just below. A highlight for this model is that the trackpad has been removed to the delight of many, as it wasn't user friendly and in fact a bit archaic. This new head unit brings a breath of fresh air to this crossover, where the screen is positioned towards you so everything is within arm's reach. But this RX wouldn't be a Lexus without one major quirk, and that's what's found in front of you, as the gauge cluster is static, and instead the buttons mounted on the steering wheel are primarily used for the head-up display, which the resolution and quality is impressive for this segment and price range. We can't forget about the comfort, as our model had power adjustable, heated and ventilated semi aniline leather upholstery, with the driver's side having memory seat functionality. A minor touch that surprised us the most was the ultra suede trim on the door panels, which Lexus hasn't really used for their mainstream products. Since the 2023 RX is the same size as last generation, you should have plenty of interior space to load up the family and go on a weekend road trip, while also offering 29.5 cubic feet of room behind the second row seats, which can be lowered and raised with the press of a button on selected models. Overall, while not necessarily being a class leader for interior design, the RX 350 does give you a driving environment that's competitive and maybe even better than the Acura MDX and Infiniti QX60. What you see on the outside and interact with when you're behind the wheel 
isn't all that's different for this new generation, as Lexus has ditched the 3.5 liter V6 engine altogether for this model, and has replaced it with a 2.4 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine for non hybrid trims, producing 275 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. And with this powertrain, we now have a retooled 8 speed automatic transmission. While customers and journalists alike have been disappointed to hear Lexus going in this direction, this engine does provide a heightened sense of smoothness and refinement, but at the expense of a quieter and possibly less engaging experience when accelerating. While the RX has never been known for its agility and sportiness, the 8-speed transitions through the gears effortlessly, fitting the relaxed and reserved demeanor that this crossover has been best known for. Also by moving on from the V6, the RX for 2023 does feel more torquey, despite not being any quicker than the outgoing model. However, you can reach highway speeds in a safe manner, and pass slower drivers with relative ease. But if you are the type of driver who's been known to have a lead foot, the N-Line 6 from BMW that powers the X5 might be a better option. But before you travel to your nearest BMW dealer, the RX does have one important redeeming quality that may entice you if refinement and comfort is a top priority. Built on an updated chassis and platform, Lexus went even further with the opulent ride quality, quieter cabin, and reserved driving dynamics. Your first impressions when getting behind the wheel is that this RX has the perception of being more upscale, not only because of that new technology, but Lexus put some thought into the materials used for the interior and that translates to its on-road demeanor. With our model being a luxury, the 21-inch 20-spoke wheels come standard, and while typically larger tires means a diminished feel when commuting and an increase in road noise, that wasn't really the case with this RX we had test driven. This was further enhanced by the extremely soft suspension that can handle uneven pavement and bumps in the road exceptionally well but it does come at the cost of a lack of rigidity and stiffness where handling on back roads does leave a bit more to be desired. However, unlike some competitors who also take a luxury first approach, the RX isn't a pretender where it promises comfort and quality but doesn't deliver. In regards to where it ranks amongst its domestic rivals, the RX won't be as dynamic or performance driven as the Acura MDX. And since it no longer uses a V6, the RX is more composed and reserved than even the Infiniti QX60. Which is why, if you're in need of a family-friendly crossover that's also providing a respectable amount of practicality and interior spacing, the RX will likely be a great option. Much of the RX's success can be mostly attributed to its placement in the market where it severely undercuts European rivals, but also has demonstrated throughout the generations to be a more suitable crossover for Americans than the Infiniti QX60 and Acura MDX. When you factor in the starting price of just under $50,000, the ability to add individual packages and features, improved technology for 2023, and the plushness of the interior, you'll be hard pressed to find anything better if you're strictly looking for a luxury vehicle. Sure, the RX falls behind when it pertains to performance, even with the new turbocharged four-cylinder engine. Yet because it's more affordable, but also traditionally has been a reliable crossover in this market, it's a better bang for your buck, but also a solid choice if you're upgrading from a Honda, Toyota, Chevy, or Ford. And whether this is your first RX or third, the 2023 model year builds off the characteristics and intangibles that's made this crossover the best-selling model in its segment. We hope you enjoyed this quick buyer's guide for the 2023 Lexus RX350. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you're interested in buying an RX or any other mid-size crossover, make sure to check out our full reviews to help you find your next vehicle. And thanks for watching.